Hi friends and children, welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I explained how to form the compound nouns. First, two nouns can make the compound noun. Then I explained adjective and noun can make the compound noun. Here in this video, I'm going to explain some more. Let's go into the video. Yes, here you can see compound nouns can be made with a verb and noun. So in this slide you are saying compound nouns can be made with a verb and noun. Let's see the first one. Some people use washing machines to wash their clothes. So here washing machine that is mentioned in the thick uh, red color. Washing verb machine noun. So washing machine that is the compound noun. Likewise the second we put a scarecrow in the fields to chase the birds away. So here scarecrow. The scare verb crow noun. Scarecrow compound noun. So, so here you can see verb and noun making the compound noun. Next one, breakfast is very important because it is the first meal after a long break. So breakfast, break, verb, fast, noun. Breakfast is the compound noun. So in this way also we can make the compound nouns. Let's go to the next slide. So here, compound nouns can be made with a noun and a verb. So the noun and a verb can also make the compound noun. First one, she always gets up before sunrise. Sunrise, sun noun, rise verb, sunrise compound noun. Second one, I'm going to the barber to have a haircut. So here, hair, cut. Hair noun, cut, verb, haircut. So noun, verb, chend, compound noun, urvak. Right? Next one, I'm waiting at the bus stop. Here, bus stop, bus noun, stop, verb, bus stop is the compound noun. Let's go to the next one. In this slide, you can see verb and a preposition also can make the compound nouns. Compound nouns can be made with a verb and a preposition. Let's see the first one. Elderly people should have a monthly checkup with their doctor. So here, check up. You can see the hyphen also. So verb check. Preposition up. So check up, that is the compound nouns. Here are the verb and the preposition also making the compound noun. Second one, the aeroplane developed engine trouble soon after takeoff. So take off, take verb, off, preposition, take off, compound nouns. So in such way also we can make the compound noun. Next one. Okay, children and friends, in this slide you can see compound nouns can be made with a preposition and a noun. Preposition and noun also can make the compound nouns. This is another way. Let's see the first example. Online shopping has become very convenient these days. So online, on preposition, noun, line. Online is the compound noun. So preposition and a noun making the Compound noun. Second one, we all ran upstairs when we heard the strange noise. Upstairs, up preposition, stairs noun, upstairs compound noun. So these two preposition and noun are making the compound noun. So here you can understand clearly how to make the compound noun using the preposition and the noun. Right, children and friends. In this video, I clearly explain how to make the compound nouns 
in different ways. So we used the different word classes to make the compound nouns. Now let's we go to the exercise part. Here you can see an activity. Match the appropriate compound nouns. So how can you match it? So in two columns, the words given, you want to match them and make the compound nouns. Okay, shall we match it? First one, butter. What is the next one? Yes, butterfly. I think you are correct. Second, key, keyboard, correct. Next one, water, waterfall, that is also correct. Next, ice, ice cream, correct. Next, rain. Rainbow. Correct. Next, bath. Bath tub. Correct. Next, gold. Gold fish. That is correct. Next, news. Newspaper. Well done. Next one. Wheel. Wheelchair. Correct. Next. Ear. Earring. Correct. Next. Tooth. To take. Correct. Next. Washing. Washing machine. Correct. Next. Ash. Ash tray. Correct. Next. Dust. Just been correct. Next one, stop. Store room correct. The last one, see. See so correct. Now we successfully matched and made the compound nouns. Very good. Now let's go to the next one. Right here you can see. How to form plural in compound nouns? Earlier slides, we learned how to make the singular compound noun. Here, you can learn how to form the plural in compound nouns. First one, when the compound noun is a single word, follow the usual rule and add S to form the plural. So here, our uh, English children, Ningal uh, Model, uh, earlier slides la nan ungalku eppadi singular compound nouns form pandrannu solli thanda nan singular nda ungalku theriyum adhe maadhiri inga naanga paaka poradhu plural formula eppadi naanga compound nouns ah form panna porom right pen mele mudal oru me ipa pen me first when the compound noun is a singular single word follow the usual rule and Add S to form the plural. So if it is a sing single word, normally we are adding S. Example, rainforest. Rainforests. Just we are adding S. Second, rainbow. Rainbows. Just we are adding S. Okay. Now we will go to the next one. When there are two or more words, Add S to the principal word. So, you can see that you made the compound noun. You can add the principal word to the S. Right? Principal. You can add the principal word to the S. So, first one. Bus stop. So, the stop is the principal word. So, with the principal word, we are adding S. Bus stops. Okay, second, full moon. Moon is the principal word. So adding is full moons. Okay, now let's go to the next one. When a compound noun is hyphenated, add is to the principal word. So here also, 
இந்த கபாவ் நவுன்ஸ் ஹைஃபனோட வரும்போது ஓகே நாங்கள் பார்க்குற இந்த கபாவ் நவுன் ஹைஃபனோட வரும்போது ஹைஃபனா ஏற்கனவே சொல்லி இருந்தேன் நான் சின்ன டேஷ் நான் தான் ஹைஃபனு சொல்லுவோம் அந்த ஹைஃபனோட வரும்போது அங்கேயும் நாங்கள் பிரதானமான வேர்டோட எஸ்ஸெட் பண்ண போகிறோம் ஸோ எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் பிரதர் இன் லோ ஸோ பிரதர் இஸ் த ப்ரின்சிபல் வேர்டு ஸோ வி ஆடிங் எஸ் ஸோ பிரதர்ஸ் இன் லோ செகண்ட் பாச பாய் பாச இஸ் த ப்ரின்சிபல் வேர்டு ஸோ பாசஸ் பாய் ஐ எம் ஆடிங் எஸ் வித் பாச ஸோ பாசஸ் பாய் பாச பாய்னு சொன்னாங்களே தெரியும் என்ன வழிபோக்க நெக்ஸ்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் when a compound noun consists of a verb and a preposition and s to the end so when a compound noun consists of a verb or a compound noun verb and the compound noun la verb irukumbodu adoda prepositionum irukumbodu anga naanga s kadasila add pan add panna porom okay first you can see take away so here take verb away preposition take away so away and preposition oda naanga kadasila s add pandrom take away right next second one push up push verb up preposition so with the last word i am adding s push ups right i think you clearly understood now we will go to the next one children and friends the first column singular compound nouns given how, we are going to see how to make them into plural so the heading is plural endings are added to the main word first one father in law so here you can see father is the main word so we are adding as fathers in law second sister in law sisters in law third one teacher in charge teachers in charge next son in law sons in law here you can see what are the main words so with the main words we are adding s yes. next commander in chief commanders in chief passer by passers by guest of honor guests of honor so these are the way to make the plural compound nouns now okay children and friends in the next slide we'll see one activity let's go okay here you see an activity in the box some compound nouns given you want to fill the blanks with the correct compound nouns the pictures also related to the nouns Let's say the compound nouns in the box flower pots homemade grandmother living room bookshelf typewriter armchair pancakes study room life lock forget me nots bookshelf grandfather mother in law fairy tales okay, let's fill the blanks our family members like to spend time in the dash what's the correct answer can you find yes living room in the living room that is the correct answer it is a beautiful room the beautiful room is the keyword given so you can easily find this is the living room let's continue beautiful room decorated with dash what's the correct one flower pots with flower pots of dash forget me nots that is the flower name so flower pots of forget me nots my dash grandfather loves to sit in his dash amcha we love to listen to dash fairy tales 
related by our grandmother. My mother loves her dash. Mother-in-law. She encourages everyone to read books from the dash. Bookshelf. In the dash. Study room. There is a dash. Keyboard. And I love to type on the dash. Typewriter. We often sit there and eat dash. Homemade dash. Pancake. Now it has become a dash. Lifelong experience to all of us. Okay, children and friends, that's all. So I think you all easily filled this activity. So now it's time to go to the next slide. Okay, children and friends, here you can see one activity. Let's see it. Find the correct word to form a compound noun. The clues will help you. So in the bracket, the clue given. So let's read the first one. The time in the morning when light first appears. So the clue is given here. The first word also given. We want to find the second word. So we will make the compound now. So what is that? Day light. Daylight is the compound now. Let's see the second one. The clue is school work done out of lessons, especially at home. So that is the clue given. And first word is home. So what is the second word to make the compound noun? Home work. What is the second word to form the compound noun? Power. Holds power. That is the compound noun. Next one. A fish having an umbrella shaped body. A fish having an umbrella shaped body. First word is jelly given. So what is the second word? Jelly fish. That is the compound noun. Jelly fish. Next one. Food remaining from a previous meal. Food remaining from a previous meal. First word, left. Second word, overs. Left overs. That is the compound noun. Next one. A tall structure topped by a powerful light. A tall structure topped by a powerful light. So what is the compound noun? The first word is light. So second, house. Light house. That is the compound noun. Okay, we successfully found the correct compound nouns. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Right, here also one activity. The clue is a paved walkway. A paved walkway. So the compound noun is sidewalk. Sidewalk is the Correct compound now. Second one. The time at which one goes to bed. The time at which one goes to bed. The correct compound noun is bed time. Bed time. That is the correct compound now. <clears throat> Next one. A panel for the display of advertisement in public places. A panel for the display of advertisement in public places. The correct compound noun is bill board. Bill board. That is the correct compound noun. Next one. A road that intersects another road. A road that intersects another road. That is cross road. Cross road is the correct compound noun. Next one, a substance used to eliminate germs. A substance used to eliminate germs. That is hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. That is the correct one. Next one, a venomous reptile. 
A venomous reptile is rattle snake. Rattle snake, that is the compound noun. Okay, children and friends, you clearly understood. So let's go to the next slide. Okay, children and friends, in this slide, we'll see some more examples to forming the compound nouns. Here we can see three ways of forming compound nouns. The first one is closed form. Closed form of compound nouns. What are they? Yes, these are the examples for closed form. So football, breakfast, makeup. Here no space. In the path of the space is not space. Is not compound nouns form one of the so football there is no space so this is one of the closed form of compound noun next breakfast breakfast also closed compound noun makeup that is also closed compound noun closed for compound noun means no space between two words so these are the compound nouns with closed form next one Keyboard. Here also you can see some more closed compound nouns. Keyboard, much box, wallpapers. Likewise, software, online. So these are the closed form of compound nouns. Let's see the second way of forming compound nouns. Yes, hyphenated form, the second type of compound noun, hyphenated form. What are they? Yes, one is given two-thirds. Here you can see the hyphen. So this is hyphenated form of compound noun, two-thirds. Some others, okay, here are some more hyphenated examples. Five years old, five hyphen years hyphen old five years old next brother hyphen in hyphen law brother in law this is also hyphenated form of compound noun next take hyphen off take off i hyphen opener i opener son hyphen in hyphen law son in law so these are the hyphenated forms of compound nouns. Yes, here are also some more hyphenated forms. Teacher in charge. Teacher hyphen in hyphen charge. Likewise, you can see six hyphen pack. Six pack. So these are the hyphenated forms given here. So with the hyphens, the compound nouns form. Okay, let's go to the next. Yes, here you can see open form. The third form is open form. Right. Some examples. Bus stop. Open form and sooner daily space where. That is open form. So bus stop. Dry clay. Golden yellow. So these are the open form of compound nouns. Okay, two words forming the compound nouns, but between them you can see the space, right? Other examples? Tennis shoes, swimming pool, public speaker, youth club. Okay, these are the open forms, open form of compound nouns. Okay, children and friends, in this video, you learned clearly about compound nouns. In my next video, we'll see a new lesson. Okay, till that, bye-bye. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and share.